So under rear, let me see if I can get to show you properly. Yeah. I'll put a little pencil eraser, a rubber underneath the floor just to keep it in that up position. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release the tension on the on the strings just so I can start snipping them. The machine heads, the tuners feel okay. That one's a bit loose. Probably just needs tightening up at the back, but. Apart from that, they feel quite uniform. They feel uniform. I like a uniform. Right. Let's get these fucking things off. In fact, what am I doing? It's a, it's a what you call it, innit? It's a double locking terminal. So I ain't even got a snip on. I just got to undo these. So I need some. Uh, wrenches, some hexagonal wrenches, Allen keys we call them. Is it a four mil? Is it? I can't remember. It's been ages since I've done a Floyd Rose. Yeah, it is a four. So I'm just gonna. Are you alright up there? Just to release the, uh, I tell you what, these are really gunked up man, but there we go. That's the string out. So you've just got to release the tension on these and then, oh that one was really tight. You have to be careful about over tightening these. Especially on cheaper licensed Floyd Rose bridges. Because they can snap. This is a quite a decent licensed one. I've done it. Fucking hell, that's tight. I've done a bit of research on these and they're apparently. They're quite good guitars because all the hardware, the, the bridge and like the trend system and and everything, the tuners, the locking nut, it's all Floyd Road license but it's, it's Goto so and they make good quality hardware really. Jeez oh, they were tight. So good quality hardware. If the string don't want to come out on its own, just loosen it a bit more because you can pull these blocks out. I'm going to have to completely strip this bridge anyway. Clean it and then lubricate it. There we go. So yeah, 4 mil Allen key or a hex wrench as you call in America. To get them out. And then because... Where are you? Because these bits are missing, can you see that? Right? It's hard to show you. Because the locking bits are missing, I ain't got to do anything else on this other than just get the strings off. Yaki Poopa. So let's get the neck off then. Get some toolage. There we are. So the neck's on. 
okay? Now, I wouldn't use an electric screwdriver to, to break the seal of them because there's a lot of torque involved and you, you might strip them on. I'll just see what's going on with these screws before, uh, by hand. So that one's already quite loose. That one's pretty tight. And that one's loose. So the, the front ones are, are quite tight, but the back, I wonder if there's a shim in here. Sometimes we put shims in the back of the neck to correct the brake angle of the uh, of the neck where it makes the body. Yeah, that's all right. Now we can get onto the uh, thingy jig. Of course, I should have charged this up really. Of course I should have charged it up really. So all these screws are loose now. The front one seat ah, I don't know why. Found a problem. Oh, not a problem. It's it's just um, a manufacturing a way that the manufacturer guitars, which from a luthery point of view, they shouldn't do it. Right. I've turned this back up this way to take the neck off, just in case there are any shims or anything in the neck pocket, so I can see what's going on. So there's no shims in there. You ain't gonna see this, are you? Because of the light. There's no shims in here, but there's a lot of shit. You know, all this uh, sawdust and stuff. I don't know if you can see into the into the corners there or anything. But there's a lot of shit in that. And also on the end here, there's all this stuff. So it weren't sitting nicely. No serial number or anything on the neck. I should do it here where there's light. Sometimes there's a serial number here or here. But there's nothing. So. Let's have a look at that. Oh no, that's alright. I thought the manufacturers had... Um, left this tolerance tight so the screws are screwing into the body and then into the neck and there shouldn't be like that the screws should be able to go through the body nicely and just secure the neck to the body rather than the screw itself so yeah let's get this open then Just checking before I put the power on on this that they'll turn okay. Yeah. This is going to run out of battery at any minute. I have to stick it on charge. But th this body, is, it's, it's quite nice. I've been looking at this overnight while it's been on the bench and it, and it is actually quite nice. I mean, it's very flat on, on this side and angular, like the horns, that is, it's shaped very... But on the back, it's all, it's all contoured round. 
So angular on the front and contoured on the back, it's good. Yeah, like I said, it all go to hardware on these and also apparently the pickups are Dimarzios. This is from Standard. A lot of dust in there. But very clean. This ain't even been opened up before. No, no, let me move the camera so you can see in here. And let me drop that down. I ain't touching it. Right. Can you see in there? That, that's really pretty clean in there, apart from the dust on the block. And that, so uh, this is the first time this has ever been opened. Interestingly, there's a uh, conductive paint just around the rim of the of the trim routing. There's nothing on here for it to earth to. But uh, yeah, that's it. So what we have to do, I think these legs are too tall. Oh no, I've got to put you back over here a minute. Maybe if I pull this light over. Yeah. What we've got to do then is release these springs. Boy, I'm doing those. make the springs go loose. They're quite saggy springs anyway. That middle one ain't the same tension as that. But it's supposed to, it's all go to hardware so it, it should be good. Right here we go. And then you can just pop these springs off and take them out. You know what this bollocks anyway. So that can stay there. The ground wire is soldered onto that. I could just hold onto that and turn it over. I'm just trying to get more light on this for you. Hold on. Is that any fucking better? I, think, I don't know. So anyway, if you can see now that rubber that's in there stopping the trem block from falling this is just going to come straight out now so I can remove that and there's the bridge assembly and it's supposed to be Goto I don't know if it'll have something written on here on, underneath all the Detroitis but licensed under uh, Floyd Rose Park so it's got all the proper licensing stamps but that's got to be completely disassembled and cleaned and shite. So yeah, yeah, it's good. It's got a little foam pad in here for the uh, when you pull the the trem back for it to rest on, so it ain't eating wood. It's foam. It's constructed really good. It really is. Okay, so that's the trim off. Let's get this off and see what's going on with that um, tone pot. How long is this now? 14 minutes? Fucking hell, I only wanted it to be an 8 minute video. I'll just get this far and I'll. I'll come back then. So. Oh, there's always one, ain't I? There's always one. If I've got to go in there to get a piece of fucking knife. 
so if you if you get blue tack if you get blue tack sometimes if these are stubborn give it a good press on there not too hard because you'll break the you can lift it off or get a little knife blade a scalpel blade just to get under the corner I've just used a plectrum to do it shielded on the back with conductive uh, aluminium yeah. right I don't know if you can see in here because of the light man it's I'm sorry about this um, it's just not good right I think you can see that look the wires broke off here the wire to the tone pot from the volume it's broke off and that's just spinning round and round that's why you've got infinite tone How's that? That's a new concept. A barrel jack. I like those. I like having barrel jacks in them rather than the normal input jack. They're a lot more sturdy. Um, yeah, the volume pot's just loose. So it needs a bit of stuff working on it. Not too much. That's cool. So yeah, that's the body. I'm going to see what's happening with the pickups. I'm going to brush all this off and hoover the dust up and then polish it and shit before I even work on it. I want to get it looking nice first. So, in fact, I won't even show you the neck yet. We'll leave that at that and I'll do a, a separate video about the neck. Ooh. Bank Tater.